I was out at your castle today inspecting your chimney, and I want to take a minute and go over this inspection report so you'll know how it, it uh, reads out. Obviously, your name and address and information would be over here on the left-hand side. How the right-hand side reads out is that that is the legend. Each one of these initials pertain to something. A is consistent with the age of the chimney. B, C comments below. C, repair is needed. D, need further evaluation or E, not applicable. Place into the boxes next to the parts of the chimney that you can easily identify in this diagram. And then, of course, your comments will be right here below, comments and suggestions. Um, so let's, uh, let's play the, uh, the intro, and we'll get right into your uh, personal report. Here we go. Hey, Corey, uh, I went out today and inspected the chimney for you, and um, I want to take a moment and go over this report with you, if I may. Um, up on top, the uh, it's got the traditional chimney cap for that particular fireplace, and unfortunately, that, that uh, cap did not come with a screen, so somebody has screened it. And this screening is going to be okay as long as you keep gas. If you go to wood, you're going to want to take this screen off of here. Otherwise, it's going to smoke back into your house. So make sure that that screen is removed before you uh, start burning wood in the fireplace. Uh, we talked about removing the gas line. Pretty easy. Uh, all of this could be uh, uh, capped off down here behind the regulator, and all of this can be pulled out. Uh, I would patch the outside. And uh, on the inside, what you'll find in here are uh, metal panels. Uh, this particular fireplace, generally you find um, refractory cement panels, just like you have in the back wall and on the floor, but this one is metal. Th these metal panels do come out. Once that pipe is removed, I would uh, seal behind there, the, the metal behind there, there will be a hole, and I would seal the, uh, this hole right here uh, on the panel. One thing you uh, want to do is uh, absolutely don't get any hot ashes from wood burning uh, into the walls of the house or you will have a house fire. Uh, so just uh, talk to your contractor about that. Uh, they can handle that for you very easily. These gas logs are working. You can see they're vented gas logs. Uh, damper's working. Damper must be uh, left open uh, in this position if, if you're going to use uh, those logs. If you can burn wood, you can open and close the damper. Flue system looks good. You are really good to go. Uh, all you need to do is just uh, remove the gas logs, seal that up, and then you can use it for wood burning if that's what you want to do. Questions for me, give me a call, 704-526-6348. You can email me at chris at affordablesweep.com. All right, let's roll the credits, shall we?